Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Black Geyser with me, Frank Italian. I'm going to finish exploring Emmanuel's arena. I shall not flag until we prevail. Yes. Then we'll see about getting out of this place finally. Yes. I await your instructions. Hmm? I'm always ready. You need only ask. You know, even if we get out of here alive, in a way, Emmanuel still wins because we're going to have chronic back problems after all this. What do you wish of me? All right, nothing we haven't seen before. He can't move. We'll find a solution. You need only mm -hmm. off I go. There we go. All right, one last path to check out. And if there's not another level to this place, we're free to leave. We just need to find a merchant that's willing to buy all this stuff from us and not slow down the game too much. Hmm? I await your instructions. What is your wish? Off I go. A beer would be nice. Thank you. What do you wish of me? Finally something new. Uh, golden hands. Plus 15% of heat resist. Plus 10% of poison and acid resist. Plus 1 to charisma. Plus 12% to command company. And then chance to flick blind to the target 2%. A faster from exceptionally shiny gold alloy. These gauntlets are stunning combinations of protection and style. The blacksmiths of Darren Gold so polished this alloy that its reflective surface presents a dangerous distraction for the wearer's enemies. These spectacular handguards are worthy of a true leader. Lucky for us, we do have a true leader in our party. I'm listening. That was weird. <laughs> I'm ready. We'll find a solution. I await your instructions. I'm always ready. You need only ask. So I do lose a lot of protections for this. What is my command company even at? So as much as I'd love to equip the new gauntlets for a change of pace. I can't say I think it's worth it. I'm listening. Let's go take care of the level up real quick. Uh, bargain of persuasion, of course. Bank companies maxed out. Or points into large blades. Next level up, we will max that out as well. Then here, another use of vigilance. Alright, should be all set in that regard. Oh, skulls for the skull throw.
Hmm? There? Alright, looks like we are finally free to leave. I'm assuming with Lord Emmanuel dead, we won't be ambushed by more skeletons on the surface. I'm ready. Yes. Yes. I'm listening. You know what, just to be safe, let's go ahead and rest up. In case there is. I await your instructions. Alright, and away we go. Go offload all this junk to some unfortunate merchant and finally go see what's going on at the castle. Or the palace. At once. I await your instructions. I'm listening. Yes. Off I go. Hmm? You need only ask. All right, well, there's a trap that we missed right there. <laughs> Weak and dissolving. I'm always ready. I am there? Care about that free experience on the way out? Probably check At back once. in with Jade real quick as well. We should be yes. back in Isselbright. I await your instructions. Or she's at, well, she's still in Isselbright, but at Greybark Square instead. Or he's supposed to be as well, at but once. Fim. I guess I haven't looked for Fim at the other tavern. At once. I await your instructions. I'm listening. All right, well, so far it looks like we will not be accosted on our way from, or as we leave Emmanuel's Horde. Which is great news because Emmanuel's Horde is leaving with us. Let us go to this Market Street. Hopefully, we can get some music playing. <laughs> At once. All 
Go to the tavern, we will rest until daybreak. Yes. And sell that junk that we have, and then... Go check on the palace. The only side quest I still have is the Bone Crafter's Art. We only have, I believe, three pieces for that. Yeah, Runa's foot, horrible arm bone. I'm listening. Yes. A gloomy leg. Yes. And that's it. I await. Can I help you? I'm listening. At once. Can I help you? All right, Gavin, our oldest and dearest friend, well, besides Helgen Har. Uh, let's go ahead and ruin this guy's day. Why is the Thundering Everblade is worth so much? I should probably hold on to some of this stuff for Arvex, just in case. I'm still split on this change as well, so I'm going to hold on to Scooty Octus for now. Well, good news is, if I ever find myself short on equipment again, like after we time traveled, I know where we can go to get some more. your instructions. I'm listening. Yes. I just double checking my inventory, making sure there was nothing that I missed. And then we'll head towards the palace shortly thereafter. Mm -hmm. I didn't miss that. Yes. Right. I'm listening. Off I go. We should be fine. Let us go. Go ahead.
I mean, it's... I think it's a hard call. We need to get rid of one of them because I don't want her being slowed. There? I thought there was a merchant closer at hand, right? Yeah. I think we're going to stick with Scutioctus because it has more resistances. And I think it looks yes. a little cooler as well. Can I help you? I'm listening at once. Yes, I await you at once. All right, finally to the palace. Took a small detour, but we're finally back on track. And after the palace, I'll go around and speak to all my other companions, see if they have any quests for us, or updates on their old quests. At once. A lot more guards standing around. Doing a quick save. In case for some reason we have to fight our way back out of this. At once. Enemies on all sides. How dare they strike a King Velenric the Righteous? Who's behind these machinations? Perhaps Lady Guildsby? Yes, I've seen her talking behind her hand when she thinks I'm not looking. Who knows what cunning and guile she's learned in her eight in her de eight decades? But not her alone. Her plots against me cast a long shadow indeed. Off I go. I mean, there's Darren Gould, <laughs> but he already knows that. Ah, Espin. You, young lord, who recently weaselled his way into my court. Some brass you have, returning here after siding against me with Darren Gould. Your Majesty, please be lenient with this fledgling nobleman. Though he is still unschooled in the ways of court, I personally vouchsafe that he is no traitor. Ah, Lady Biala, your word does carry quite a bit of weight. Let the young upstart speak for himself. Where's the surrender I demanded? And where's Rausch? Your Majesty, we're ambushed on the way to Darren Gould, and Rausch was killed. But these are no common bandits. They deliberately singled him out. Hmm. I was not informed of this ambush. Who is behind it? Your delegation was attacked by the worshippers of some false god, Your Majesty. I have so far been unable to root out their identity, but I promise they will not stand against the Chosen of Honorius. I feel like that's a little presumptuous of me. So I'm going to go with option two. 
I believe they are cultists of some kind, your majesty. They said they were acting according to the wishes of their god. Would I reveal who this divine entity is? And he's supposedly cultists are all conveniently dead, yes? Of course they are. Why have you returned without the surrender I demanded? Well, this isn't particularly true. I'm going to say it anyway. Now, your majesty, I explained your terms for the War Council's surrender exactly as you wished. But they stubbornly refused to accept. But Aldenar was particularly prickly about it. Found that conniving little traitor. I have considered putting a price on his head. But truly no extra incentive should be needed to fight enemies of the crown. How did you leave things in Darun Gould? Did you sense any division among the lords? I don't remember if this is true or not. And I don't know if there will be repercussions for saying that it is true if it's not. I'm going to say it anyway. The Lords Odnar and Gaynor were vehemently against surrender. Lords Frelsi, Xander, and Lady Thor seem willing to compromise. The others could go either way. Hmm. Perhaps not every man and woman of them is a fool after all. Very well. I'm forced to acknowledge that in your case, incompetence is the root of your failure, and not treachery. Now that I am assured of your loyalty, I need your services again, Lord Donald. An attempt was made on my life, not many nights past. How did it happen? The blackguard climbed down the brickwork outside my window, and somehow fiddled open the latch from outside. There's no doubt of his intentions. I wrested the blade from his hand myself. Who is the assassin? Were they caught? Yes, he was caught. It was none other than Duke Garvarler. Hey, that's right. And one of my most trusted advisors. Strangely, it's set a man of 60 odd years on such a task. Anyway, his trial is approaching. Now that you know the salient facts, go to Duke Chiavalo's manor and search it. I want real evidence of what we already know. That Chiavalo is a spy for Darum Gould, and I want it to be presented at his trial. My enemies must know that I know how deep are the roots of their diabolical plot. How long do I have before the trial? The day has not been fixed, but my justice must be both righteous and swift, so make haste. How do you know the Duke is working for Darren Gould? Because I know. That's how, Lord Donald. Or sorry, that's how. Uh, Lord Donald, take a moment to think before asking your questions. <laughs> Uh, what exactly should I be looking for? I don't know. A suspicious letter or journal. A hidden payoff. Perhaps someone on his staff knows something. Use your head, man. I'll head for the Duke's manor at once, Your Majesty. If you'll tell me the location. Uh, good. You'll find his estate to the west from the Hall of Records. Hurry. Yeah, I believe it's the I locked manor. There? The one I just tried to enter as we came back to the palace. Uh, Lord Espen, welcome. His Majesty wishes to speak with you at your earliest convenience. In case I'm being too polite, that means now. Uh, what happened here? Couldn't say, my lord. I'm sure His Majesty will tell you uh, whatever you need to know. Please report to the throne room at once. Did I not just do that? <laughs> I await your instructions. Alright, let's go speak to him again, just in case. Pretty sure he's supposed to speak to me before I enter the palace. <laughs> I was actually surprised the guard didn't stop me before I entered the palace. At once.
Especially since the king assumed that I'm a traitor. Ah, Espin. Uh, what are you waiting for, Donald? Get out there and bring me the evidence. Alright, I'll see what I can do. I don't know how much good all these guards standing around outside are going to do. A single guard actually standing inside the throne room with the king. Seems like a major oversight. Had I wanted to kill him right then and there, I could have, and the guard could have done nothing about it. Well, I guess besides, killed me after the fact, but by then it's too late. All right, so we're gonna loot everything first. All right, so he does care that we take stuff, but it could be evidence. They can't. Hmm. At once. talk to anybody just yet. Hmm? What is your wish? Off I go. Well, shucks. Can't kill the potential witnesses or collaborators, whatever they are. All right, so back inside. Let's reload everything real quick, and in the next episode, we'll begin talking to the people on the first floor. We might finish looting the second floor as well. Before I start speaking to people, because I don't know if I'll get kicked out of the manor or not. I do think it's safe to assume that I won't. But you never know. Hmm? Off I go. At once. Yeah, okay, we'll play it safe and actually sneak and we steal this time. If I'm concerned, I'll be spotted.
What is your wish? Yes. I spotted once, that's fine. They give you a freebie. I'm listening. Off I go. Okay. I'm gonna call the episode here, and the next one we'll go upstairs, finish looting this manor, and then we'll start speaking to the servants and the Duchess herself. And see if we can't gather any evidence that I already forgot this guy's name. Garvaller is working for. Darren Gould. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.